This is Elmo's wireless tablet tutorial video. What you're looking at now is the ImageMate Accent screenshot and the wireless tablet which is being captured by Elmo's document camera. This is Elmo's wireless tablet. On it are function keys. The first function key here on the left is a picture of a document camera when you tap the document camera function key then you're able to see your document camera menu buttons here on the right side of the screen. The first two are pens to let you annotate on your live image. After that you have an eraser button which will clear the entire screen. Below that is a tool button. Here is where you can change the color of the pen, the thickness of the pen, and you can even change it from pen to pencil or highlighter. After that you have your zoom buttons. This will allow you to zoom in and out with the document camera. After zooming you'll want to focus by pressing the autofocus button here. And you can even adjust the brightness manually by using the next two buttons. After that you have a pause feature which will freeze the live image. To unpause it you'll just press the same button. And the last button will take you to your next menu. You'll notice in the lower left hand corner we have a submenu. The first button in the submenu is a mask or shade feature. When you press this, the mask comes up and then you're able to drag it down, up, left, or right. The button next to that is a highlight or spotlight feature. This brings up the highlight box so that you can emphasize certain things. And next to that we have a scroll feature. When you press that it instantly zooms and then you're able to pan around your image. And the last button on the submenu is a split screen. So when you press that the split screen comes up, it compares the still image to the live image. The next function key is the whiteboard mode. Not only can you use the document camera live image as the backdrop, but you can also use whiteboard backgrounds and use the tablet as an interactive whiteboard. So in whiteboard mode you have a uh, vertical line backdrop, horizontal line backdrop, grid, the music staff, uh, writing paper backdrop, and the blank backdrop. The next function key is your teaching material menu. When you click here, then you're able to see all of the images, videos, and contents that you've created here in the menu. The next function key is the contents creation mode. In the contents creation mode, you are able to make your own backdrops for your lessons. You can choose from using the document camera as your backdrop or the uh, set backdrops from ImageMate Accent. You can also import pictures.
pictures, photos, uh, graphics from your computer. You can use uh, pre-made stamps to add to uh, your lesson backdrop. You can add text and then the last button here is a uh, select button for you to uh, move, resize your uh, objects. The next function key is your settings mode. Here is where you're able to change from pencil to highlighter to pen. You can also change the colors and in pencil and highlighter mode you can change the thickness as well. The last function key will close your ImageMate Accent software. You should also know that if you don't want to use the function keys on the wireless tablet, you can also find them by pressing the arrow here in the lower right hand corner and you'll see the exact same menu of functions here on the right side of the screen. That concludes Elmo's wireless tablet tutorial video. If you have questions, you can email elmo at elmousa.com or check out elmousa.com for more information.